Here's a little brass candlestick. I can uh, talk about this little brass candlestick. I can talk about what brass is in terms of uh, uh, you know the properties of brass. I can talk about candles in terms of their properties, what they're for, what they do, why we have them. Um, I can talk about the uh, beginning and end of this thing. It's not here and it's not here. It's confined to this little space. Uh, ultimately, it's just a jumble of matter and energy, but in terms of this thing's practical purposes, I can say enough about it uh, for um, at least to have it make sense to uh, someone who's never seen a brass candlestick before. Uh, say that I'd landed on a desert island with someone who'd been shipwrecked all of his life and had never seen one of these, I could explain to him, if he spoke English, I suppose, in a matter of a few moments exactly what this was and what it was for. It's a mundane object. Um, God doesn't work like that. God, uh, I don't think you can actually have a thumbnail sketch of God that makes any sense at all. Um, I honestly believe sometimes that theists actually spend so much time trying to apply their religious faith into real life simply as a means of distracting themselves from the fact that they don't really understand what God is or they uh, have their... Um, to actually face the idea of Godness is like staring into the sun. It's enough to blast your brain out. Your mind can be... I, I would assume that if you actually understood what God is uh, your mind would be sort of smashed to atoms. <laughs> it's just too mind-blowing a concept. Um, chapter 11 of the Bhagavad Gita, uh, where Arjuna stares at Krishna, the universal form, everything, God, basically is able somehow uh, to look at God, um, finds it an ecstatic and terrifying experience. Uh, more than terrifying. It's simply more than his, his limited human faculties can grasp, or his limited human faculties can actually withstand, tolerate. It's simply, the, the, the implications of godness are simply so gigantic that I don't think that we really can wrap our heads around it. And I think that we instinctively, sort of, as we do, as we do the sun, we instinctively turn our faces away from any attempts to actually come to terms with that. Um... And I don't think that this is confined to atheists. I, I, this is basically, I, I believe this is what theists do. This is um, why people build churches. Uh, this is why people uh, come up with um, ways to apply Christianity to your regular, everyday life. This is why uh, people come up with great, big, huge theological books and everything like that. Any of this is a lot easier than actually trying to understand what on earth you're talking about when you say God. Um, Godness, the implications of Godness, fundamentally alter absolutely everything that ever was or ever will be, <laughs> and their fundamental natures. Everything. It completely uh, changes everything about everything you see around you. Um, in a way that kind of is guaranteed to blow your brains out, in you know, metaphorically speaking, if you actually try to figure it out. Um, if you, I, I started it on my sort of spiritual quest that led me to where I am now, when I tried to understand as a child the concept of an eternity in either hell or heaven. You know, my little kid brain is going, okay, what does this mean, eternity? Eternity. Really? You just... This is it. And I tried to get my religious teachers, as usual, to explain this to me, and they gave up. Um, and, I, you know, to a certain extent, I found the description of eternity frightening. Um, so this is where we go after we die? So, in a sense, that's done. It's a set place that we go to forever and ever 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 and ever. Um, and I don't think that the human mind, as it is right now, is equipped to deal with that. You're going to be conscious in a certain place forever. Okay. Now, take that and, say, multiply it by a hundred, a thousand times in terms of all the attributes of God. Uh, eternal, uh, omnipotent, uh, omnipresent, uh, omniscient, uh, all that stuff. No, the human mind is simply not 
equipped to deal with that. Um, the human mind uh, simply fails after a certain point in terms of wrapping itself around concepts like God. Um, and I think that maybe only the intuitive can actually wrap its, itself around them. Now, I can understand how uh, some people might say that we have enough to actually um, discuss this sort of thing, and this is why I don't believe in this, but I don't think that we do. I don't think that we actually understand this, uh, what this idea of godness is. Um, I think that familiarity with uh, the usage of the word god kind of dulls the edges of uh, incredulity. Um, but you know, it's the same thing as when I step out my I step out of my house today, and you look up, and there's no there's not a uh, cloud in the sky today. I look up, and I see the blue sky, the big blue prairie sky, and um, that sky up there just never stops. <laughs> I'm staring infinity in the face. Um, well, okay, I know that, but you know, what am I supposed to do? Just stand there like, oh my God, that's mind blowing. No, you just. Well, I walk to work every day. I just I focus on what's around me. I don't look up and think about what that sky is. Uh, the, for all practical purposes, it's just the sky. It's just this canopy that's above me, even though I know that I'm staring right up into something that never stops. I think that that's the way most people approach God, and theists, if anything, are even more guilty of this than atheists. Um, but, um, again, by defining themselves in terms of what theists say, um, atheists are essentially handing the initiative to defining their beliefs to someone else. Um, and someone else whom I don't really think has the slightest clue what it is that they're talking about when it comes to talking about God. God is not a mundane thing like uh, my brass candlestick. Um, God, when you think about it, blows your mind, whether you like it or not, whether you believe it in, in, in it or not. Um, the mind isn't equipped to deal with it. Thank you.